Hi, I'm Ed Muschetti from Control Specialties. Let's take a few minutes and take a look at the concept of boiler efficiency, how you go about measuring it, and if you don't have the ability to measure it, how you can go about estimating it by using an Excel spreadsheet. Uh, fuel to steam efficiency for a boiler <coughs> is comparing mathematically the output of the boiler in BTUs compared to the fuel burned measured in BTUs. So for let's say for a boiler firing natural gas, we'd look at the amount of steam being delivered to our facility, convert that to BTUs, and then we would measure the amount of gas going into the boiler, and convert that measurement to BTUs, and then do the division output by input, and that gives us the fuel to steam efficiency of the boiler, and that is really the final measure of how well your boiler is operating. In other words, how much energy is it delivering to your plant for the amount of dollars you're spending for that energy. Uh, this block contains basically all the conversion data which allows you to convert uh, energy units, whether it's natural gas, electricity, oil, or whatever it may be, to units of a million BTUs, and we'll use that number consistently in our comparisons. Having the ability to fuel switch is something that's really very important and we encourage you to look at. I think you'll see that in just a minute when we run out some sample calculations on an Excel spreadsheet. What we've set up in our spreadsheet is really a situation where we're going to compare a 200 horsepower boiler firing natural gas, number two oil, propane, and also we're going to compare that with an electric boiler, which would obviously be a different style of boiler, but it's a legitimate comparison. If you take a look at line 34, what we've done is selected a 200 horsepower border in all cases and we've had that 200 horsepower border firing at a 50 percent firing rate in all four examples so that the estimated horsepower on line would be line 36 100 horsepower for each border. I selected those numbers so you can use the 100 horsepower example and ramp up to match whatever your specific border might be. So as an example if you had a 600 horsepower border and you were operating at a 50 percent firing rate then your net delivered horsepower online would be about 300. So if you took my figures and tripled them, you'd get pretty close to what your border would actually be doing. There are some issues having to do with radiation losses and how the border is loaded that ultimately will affect the fuel to steam efficiency, but for the sake of a first analysis, that'll get you close enough. If we follow the rest of the numbers down, we've filled in a bunch of data for you here. If we just drop down to line 40, I'll just comment on a few. Combustion efficiency is measured with a combustion analyzer. If you have access to one or your border service company can provide to that information, they can give you a precise measurement of the combustion efficiency, which is how well you're converting fuel to energy and the amount of energy going up the stack. If you don't have a number, if you typically use about 80 to 81 percent for a border which is well maintained, you're going to be pretty darn close. The radiation loss figures that I've shown in line 41 are based on a 4% radiation loss for a new boiler and in good shape. The 6% figures here represent the radiation loss based on a 50% firing rate. There's quite a bit of math behind that, but if you'll just accept my figures for now, it's close enough to the real world. Border blowdown losses, which are shown in line 42, is going to be essentially a function of your water treatment and water hardness and issues such as that. If you don't know, your water treatment vendor should be able to provide you that information. If not, if you use about 2 to 3 percent for most parts of the uh, country and the water condition are coming in, you're going to be pretty well straightforward. Line 44 then becomes just a calculation of taking the combustion efficiency and subtracting any out the radiation losses and the blowdown losses, and that's the re result of those calculations. For an electric border, we've scored a consistent 99%, and that's really a pretty fair number for an electric border since there are no stack losses, basically just the radiation off the border box itself, which is pretty small. We've put in some typical fuel figures in line 45 just to run the comparison. Obviously, you'd want to have that data available for your area and uh, whatever you're forecasting for the current period that you want to take a look at. The rest is basically a bunch of math that stirs up and gets at the numbers. Line 47 just simply takes the uh, fuel units and the cost per unit and converts that to cost per million BTUs. Line 48 is taking the cost per million BTUs and dividing that by the boiler efficiency. So in the case of a natural gas border, we take a fuel cost of $7 per 50 cents per million BTUs, a forecasted efficiency of 73%. If you do that math, you wind up with $10.27. 
The rest is just, again, math dropping down from the data we punched in up above to get at the annual cost per year. The significant thing to take a look at is look at the rather remarkable difference in what it costs to operate that boiler for a period of one year based on four fuel choices and probably somewhere fuel prices which are typical for your area. It pays to be a fuel shopper as I've mentioned and it also pays to keep your borders in good repair and tune. We suggest tune up, tuning up borders at least twice a year. Control Specialties is really your one-stop store shopping for new borders and a whole range of equipment, virtually everything that goes in the border room. We're located in Gainesville, Georgia and we primarily are capable of servicing and installing and uh, doing things with borders obviously in the store of Georgia where we're licensed and we can pretty much do the same in the surrounding states. It really gets to be a matter of how far we can travel and the cost of travel. Thanks for taking the time to look at this information. If you'd like a copy of the spreadsheet that you can actually go put your own numbers in, you can contact Margie at Control Specialties by email or give us a phone call and we'll be glad to email you a copy of the spreadsheet and you can do your own numbers. I'm always available for a phone call if you have specific questions you'd like to discuss further. Again, thank you for your time and have a pleasant day.